Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. The tomb is empty. The dawn has come. Fear is over. Hope is alive. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Let us worship together. Welcome to this Easter Sunday worship service, jointly prepared by members and staff of St. Thomas Wesley, Grosvenor Park, and Knox United Churches. We're glad you could join us today. You are invited particularly to join us for a virtual communion celebration on the Zoom internet platform at 10.30 on this Easter Sunday morning. It will also be live streamed on YouTube. The link to the Zoom communion is in the email in which you received the link to this service too. Now this Zoom communion will be followed by a time of prayers and coffee time and conversation for those who wish to stay and take part in that. As we gather for worship today, we acknowledge that the land on which we gather is Treaty 6 territory the ancestral land of several indigenous nations and part of the homeland of the Métis. We respect the sacredness of our shared home and the care for the ground on which we walk. We are grateful for the stewardship throughout the centuries. Our Lenten journey comes to an end as we light the Easter candle, a candle of joy and thanksgiving of gratitude and new life. A candle to remind us of the flames that may flicker but never go out permanently. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed, hallelujah. The risen Christ lives today. We are witnesses of these things. We sing praise to God incarnate. May Christ's love burn within us. morning's reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 1 to 9. On the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two beings in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the being said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Humanity must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. 
But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. This is an Easter poem by Sid Rolls, a United Church minister with a passion for social justice and environmental action. It comes from 1994. Long before dawn, the frogs carry on their insistent chorus. At first light, very first light, a single chirp, another and then a storm of chirping, singing, squawking. Dawn progresses, a new quiet. Song of one meadowlark, a robin's chirp, a blackbird's scree, mouthful of soap, a pleasant honk, and quiet again. Morning is breaking upon us, the night has brought sleep and unsleep. We know about life, created world, the stuff of our gardens, the stuff of the hillside, the lake at dawn, beauty that won't fit into words. We know about life, our lives together, the other joy of the task together, words shared, the glance, the touch. We know about life, in art and science. Look, read, hear, calculate, wonder at the works of mind and body. But over us and around us and our world is choking, blighting fear. Does God intend us to live? Does God save the world? Is there light in the world that darkness will never put out? Hitler and Stalin killed millions for wealth, power, fear, or on a whim. We go on with the smaller killings for wealth or power or fear. We need to save the trees and the land and the water, or we will die. We know that. We know, too, that greed won't feed the hungry, but we are stuck on one track. Read now, feed later. later. Could it be that in the single robin's chirp, the steady unfolding of the tulip in the morning light, the burning hearts as we break open the word and talk along the way, the women's tale of empty tomb and angels, 
Could it be that God is calling us to life to save the world? Is it only Jesus that God has called to life? Or you and me, called to the life of the cross? Should we speak about these things, springtime in the church and in God's world? Or with pressing business and circling fear, not knowing which, should we still again the sounds in the night, light creeping upon the world, flowers nudged into bloom, the talk of women, rumors of angels, and hearts on fire. Let us pray. God comes among us in surprising ways, feeding us with joy and salvation. May we know God this morning, feasting our minds with wonder, lifting our eyes to new horizons, raising our hands to the embrace of love, warming our hearts with renewed life and opening our lives to the touch of the risen one. May God of endless grace hold us now with awe and wonder at the mystery of this day. May Jesus of endless love hold us now and call out from within us new ways to welcome new ways to care, new ways to open our hearts to those who share the journey of life with us. 
May the spirit of endless power hold us now so we breathe in vision and courage and breathe out our will and our passion for full life for all of God's creation. And now we join our voices in prayer that Jesus taught his disciples in the stories of our faith from long ago, as we say, our creator who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we tre forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. from this time together with the hope of God's realm filling your hearts, with joy in the Spirit infusing your souls, and with the call of the risen Christ ringing in your ears. Go from this time in the sureness of God's grace and in the embrace of God's love. You are invited to join us for a virtual communion celebration on the Zoom internet platform at 10.30 a.m. on this Easter Sunday morning, which will also be live streamed to YouTube. The link to the Zoom communion is in the email in which you received the link to this service. The virtual Zoom communion will be followed by a time of prayers and coffee time and conversation for those who wish to stay and take part in that. 